Nobody knows news like seven And good evening from the tally room. Counting has been going for almost an hour, but figures have been surprisingly slow. The first figures to come through were from the safe Liberal seat of Gisborne, and Brendan Donoghue is with Gary Morgan. Yes, Jennifer, only a very small uh, sample through at the moment, only 0.2% of the vote count at the moment, but in Gisborne, Tom Reynolds, the Liberal uh, front bencher, who will be the Minister for Support if the Coalition wins, is clearly in front of a very strong Liberal booth, 256 votes to 108. And in Ballarat East, which is one of the very, very marginal seats, uh, the Labor Party's MP up there, Frank Sheehan, uh, at least he has one strong booth. He's one vote ahead of the Liberal Party's Barry Trainer. But as I said before, a very, very small sample, only 0.2% of the vote counted. Gary? Well, I think it's too early to say the, the uh, figures are too few people and the fact is that we're going to have to wait half an hour or so before we see what's going to happen. Of course, there appears to be a lot of uh, sympathy for Joan Kerner from the poll we saw tonight, leading Jeff Kennett and the preferred Premier, 52-36. OK, thank you, Brendan and Gary. And we'll thank have you. more from the tally room shortly. Do you know a place where we'd be safe? Well, back with my family, said the pig. Come with me. Come on. Nobody knows news like seven. Good evening. Counting has been going for just over an hour and a half now. There's been an obvious and strong swing against the ALP. Already the seat of Ballarat East has fallen to the Liberals. Brendan Donoghue is with Peter Reith and Steve Crabb. Yes, Jennifer, we have the seat of Melbourne up here and Neil Cole, who has a very, uh, very uh, strong margin, of course, from uh, the start of the day. It doesn't appear to be going too well. He's on uh, 332 votes there, Steve, but a very uh, early... That's only a very handful of votes, really 800 votes counted. That's probably only one booth and it could be anywhere. Right, now we'll just move on to the, uh, the seat of uh, Monbolk. Neil Cole, uh, Neil Pope holds this by about 4.75%. Yeah. He doesn't look to be going too well there, does he? No, he's a bit worried about it, but uh, I don't think it's as bad as it looks on that screen. But, uh, I mean, you know, the 4.7 is going to be fairly difficult for him to, to hold up there. Peter Reith, what are your uh, scrutiny well, is telling you? Well, a good start there for Stephen MacArthur. It is obviously early days. Um, he needs about 4.75% uh, to take that seat. He's uh, on track at uh, this early uh, time of the evening. And of course, we go to Ivanhoe. Vin Heffernan trying to win the uh, Liberal seat. It's nominally a Labor seat, but he's on 890 votes to the ALP's Chris Watson's 707. Steve, how would you call that at the moment? Well, again, that's probably only one booth, and it's a bit hard to tell. It's, I mean, it's interesting, the independents are not getting much in the way of votes, and these, you know, given the polls have been telling us they're getting 10 or 11% of the vote, I mean, that's, there's really not very much there. But, of course, the seat of Ballarat East, held by Frank Sheen, Labor Party, that's gone, both gentlemen. Yeah, it doesn't look too healthy there, does it? Well, yeah, it's one of these seats where it's got, I mean, it, it, it's got half of Ballarat and then a great lump of the countryside. So that it, it's not a homogenous seat by any means. And they, I mean, you wouldn't know where these came from. And they might come from, you know, from booths that always turn up a two to one or three to one liberal vote. Right. OK, thank you. Back to you, Jennifer. And thank you, Brendan. And of course, we'll have more from the tally room shortly. Nobody knows news like seven. Good evening, Jennifer Kite in the tally room. And we've just had a comment from the state ALP secretary, Jenny Beecham, who has conceded defeat in this election. She was speaking off the cuff to one of our reporters when she made the comments. Gary Morgan, your thoughts on that? Well, I think the Liberal National Party are going to win the election. They're in front in most of the seats. They're, uh, in fact, a long way in front of, say, a seat like Box Hill and the uh, marginal seats that are coming through at the moment, you can see the Liberal National Party are doing very well. What percentage are we talking about? Well, at least 4 or 5%, I think, on these early figures. Although a lot of these strong ALP seats, there's no figures for those seats yet. So it's too early to say exactly what the percentage swing will be, but it's quite clear to me from looking at these figures that the Liberal National Party's got to win. Time enough for Jenny Beecham to concede defeat? Well, I think she's right. OK, Gary Morgan, thank you very much. And we'll have more from the tally room shortly. 
You have what? I mean, um, uh, kittens, Milo yelled. Otis knew his family would love to have these fish, but how was he going to reach them? Way up there. Milo had it all worked out. Nobody knows news like seven. Good evening from the tally room. The Liberal National Coalition has won the election in a landslide. There's been a sustained swing of more than 7% after about 15% of the vote counted. Both Liberal and Labor officials are agreeing the Coalition is back in power after 10 years. Among the first ALP seats to fall are Ballarat East, Wonturna, Cranbourne, Bellarine, Bentley, Bendigo West, Mitcham, Morwell, Bayswater, Ivanhoe, Monbolk, Berwick, Eltham, Knox, Tullamarine, Frankston East and Oakley. And we'll be back to the tally room with more news shortly. Nobody knows news like seven. Good evening, a handsome victory for the coalition in today's election. Labor's 10-year rule is over and Jeff Kennett is Victoria's new Premier. And we've just heard that Joan Kerner is on her way to the tally room right at this moment. We will cross live as soon as she arrives. The outgoing Premier, Joan Kerner, has just arrived at the tally room. Mrs. Kerner, how do you feel? Just, just wait till we come in. Hope we do it properly. Just, just wait. How are you feeling? You're going to fall over. Are you disappointed? I'll talk to you afterwards, OK? I'll make the statement first, and then I'll talk to all of you. Any idea of how you're feeling at all? Can you give us any indication? I'll tell you in there. It's fine. Thank you. Remember, is this much worse than you anticipated? No. Well, there's... Well, we're here at the tally room, and as we say, the outgoing Premier is now making her way into the tally room itself, where she's expected to make her statement shortly. I am here with Gary Morgan at the moment. Gary, how do you think she lost it? Uh, where were the big swings? Well, she lost it in the east and the southeast, and it's no doubt that there's been a massive swing in those areas where there's a lot of concern about unemployment. In fact, only 40% of the votes counted so far, and in the blue-collar seats, the ALP vote is, is holding up. So is it the mortgage belt that says they've had enough? Yes, it's the mortgage belt. It's the area which swung to Labor in 1982-83, and now it's uh, swinging back to the Liberal Party. That's what we call the, the sand belt and the clay belt, is it? That's right, yes. OK, what about the traditional blue-collar belts, the workers? Well, the blue-collar workers are voting uh, not as much Liberal, and uh, the swing isn't as great there. The swing to the Liberal Party so far is about 5.5 percentage points. Uh, and the uh, drop in the ALP vote at the present time is about uh, 8 or 9 percentage points. Now, is this as much of a swing as you anticipated, or was the uh, electorate's mood underestimated? Oh, absolutely underestimated. It's a much greater swing than uh, we anticipated. It's, uh, uh, it's a very significant swing for the Liberal, to the Liberal Party. What do you think the federal implications are? I think quite significant. It shows that uh, what Mr Kennett was talking about, uh, a lot of the issues he was talking about, the electorate wants change. The electorate's concerned about unemployment. The electorate's concerned that they may lose their jobs, that they can't make ends meet. And what this election's telling the federal government is that they want to see some action. How do you think Joan lost it, though? What were the issues? Well, the number one issue was unemployment. We have 60% uh, of people believing if they lose their jobs, for instance, they'd find it difficult to get another job. We find even 30% of workers believing that they may lose their jobs. So the number one issue facing Victoria today is unemployment. OK, then, Gary, thank you. And as we said, Joan Kerner now making her way into the tally room and she's expected to uh, make a statement from here shortly. Elora, Elora Willows here. 
And the outgoing Premier Joan Kerner has just arrived at the podium in the tally room. Not for long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Colleagues and people of Victoria, I wish to congratulate Jeff Kennett and the Coalition on their stunning victory. They have now an enormous responsibility. The heartland of Labor, recognising the disaster of the industrial relations policy of the opposition, who are now the government, have in fact stayed with Labor. <laughs> and I want to thank them for their strong support, and indeed for all Labor supporters, for hanging in there true through very difficult times. I want to thank all the workers on the campaign, led very ably by my friend and colleague, Jenny Beecham. I want to thank my Cabinet team and congratulate my Deputy Premier on having one of the few swings towards Labor. <laughs> <laughs> I want to congratulate Keith Hamilton in more, and I think very possibly David Kennedy Peter Loney in Geelong North, and possibly Haddon Shell. Those people who said that Labor would be annihilated in the country <clears throat> in those seats we held were in fact wrong. Again, in those areas, the heartland held up. And I want to congratulate all of them. And to my own seat of Williamstown, I guess they might have been tempted to make an example of me. They have come through with flying Labor colours, and I thank them all very much, and I'm sorry I can't be with them tonight. <laughs> we, as people who are tried and true Labor and those who voted for us, are not going to give up. Yeah, yeah. We have to fight now even harder for the things we believe in. We have to learn the lessons of not always going for the ball in our party. We have to now regroup and set our eyes very firmly on the next state election. But before we do that, we have to make sure that we stand true in the parliament, even with low numbers, for the things that the Labor cause stands for. <clears throat> And there are things that will help us stand true. When you look at the ministers who have lost their seats, 
the things that they have stood for and achieved are some of the things that will stand as achievements of the Kane and Kerner governments. No one will ever take away from Kay Setchers, the bravest minister in my government, personally. No one ever take away from her. <clears throat> no one will ever take away from her the closure of Kalula, that symbol of disrespect for people with disabilities. No one will be able to overturn the freedom, the opportunity to develop as individuals and as communities that we have given to people with disabilities. No one will take away from Neil Pope the enormous reforms that we have put into place in occupational health and safety and industrial relations and enterprise bargaining. And I want to say to Neil, it's a great disappointment, I know, for you and for me that you are not here tonight, back as a member of our parliament, but I'm quite sure that someone like yourself and someone like Peter Spiker and John Harrowfield have a great future before them in serving the Labor cause wherever they are. Thank you to all those people who tried and lost their four and lost their seats, and particularly to those who were members of our government. And And we'll have more from the tally room later this evening.